Hello everyone, I am Vikram Aditya and welcome to Jade Soft Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss about a very important concept of Brownfield project. I'm going to cover most important concepts about Brownfield project in the form of interview question and answers. Uh, this would explore uh, the concept of Brownfield projects and also give us some insights in it. So let's get started. Now, what is a Brownfield implementation in SAP? A brownfield implementation involves migrating an existing SAP system to S4 HANA while retaining historical data, configurations and customizations. So for example, if there is an organization who is working on an older version of SAP ERP software and would like to upgrade to S4 HANA, if there is a compatibility between the, both the versions, it would be highly acceptable uh, to go ahead and migrate it instead of going forward with the new implementation which is called greenfield project so we are just going to migrate it from the old version to the latest version uh, and uh, you know we can uh, so the advantage of going ahead with the brownfield project is that we can retain the historical data retain the configurations which are been done in the past and customizations also can be moved to the latest version how does brownfield differ from greenfield implementation Brownfield retains existing system structure and data while Greenfield involves starting everything from the scratch with new configurations and almost no historical data at all. So we need to update all the data. What are the key advantages of Brownfield implementation project? Reduced implementation time, lower cost, minimal disruption and preservation of historical data and customizations are the key advantages of Brownfield approach. What are the challenges in Brownfield implementation? Data inconsistencies, custom code compatibility, legacy process limitations, and technical depth are a few of the challenges that we face in uh, Brownfield projects in general. What tools are used for SAP S4 HANA Brownfield migration? So S4 HANA Brownfield migration, we use uh, tools like SUM, the software update manager, with a DMO, the database migration options, simplification item check and SAP readiness check. So explain the role of SUM with DMO in Brownfield implementation project. So in the Brownfield project, SUM with DMO facilitates systems upgrade and migration to HANA database in a single step with minimal downtime. What is simplification item check? It identifies inconsistencies and mandatory adjustments needed in the existing ECC system before migrating to S4 HANA. How do you handle custom code during a Brownfield implementation project? Use the custom code migration work list to analyze, adapt and test custom con co code for S4 HANA compatibility. What is the significance of the SAP readiness check. So it assesses the system for S4 HANA conversion readiness, identifying required changes, custom code impact and business function compatibility. What are the major phases of Burnfield migration project? Preparation phase, system assessment phase, custom code adaption phase, technical conversion phase, testing and post go live support. How do you ensure minimal business disruption during migration? By thorough planning, parallel testing, mock runs, phased cutovers and comprehensive user training. Can business process be re-engineered during a Brownfield implementation migration project? Yes, selective re-engineering is possible through the primary focus is system in conversion. What are the system requirements for S4 HANA conversions? See, valid HANA database, compatible OS, supported SAP ECC version and Unicode compliance. What is the role of maintenance planner in a Brownfield project? So the maintenance planner helps plan the system landscape, verify component compatibility and generate stack files for upgrade. 
how is data integrity maintained during a brownfield conversion by performing pre-checks using validated tools testing extensively and conducting reconciliation post migration Now, what testing strategies are used in brownfield migration? We use unit testing, integration testing, regression testing, user acceptance testing, and performance testing. How do you handle data archiving in brownfield implementation? Archive unnecessary historical data uh, before conversion to reduce data volume, and we can improve the performance as well. What is downtime optimization in brownfield projects? So downtime, opti downtime optimization involves using tools like zero downtime option ZDO and near zero downtime technology NZTT to minimize cutover time. What are the common post migration tasks? The common post migration tasks are system monitoring, performance tuning, error resolution, user training and support setup. How do you manage project governance in a brownfield migration? By defining roles and responsibilities using agile or waterfall methodology and ensuring strong stakeholder engagement. Thank you all for watching this video uh, and uh, do like our videos and share it with your colleagues and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to our channel and if there are any sap trainings that you are looking out for for individuals or corporates uh, live sessions or recorded sessions you can contact us at trainings at the and you can also contact us for the server access as well okay thank you very much and have a great day